In this video, we're going to learn how to create a 2D running animation in Blender 2.8 and the Grease Pencil. So this is just a continuation from the previous video where we created the walk cycle. This time we're going to go ahead and create a run cycle. Uh, so I'm going to skip a lot of the stuff that I did from the previous videos like how to add a ground, how, uh, how to work with layers and all that stuff. If you want to learn how to do that stuff, please go ahead and check out the, either the bouncing ball animation video or the walk cycle animation video. Uh, this is just purely going to be a run cycle animation tutorial and that's about it. Before I begin, just wanted to quickly let you know about Skillshare. It's an online learning community with over 25,000 classes covering dozens of creative and entrepreneurial skills. Skillshare classes tend to be bite-sized and quicker to finish allowing you to skill up really fast in whatever it is you want to skill up in. Premium membership gives you unlimited access so you can join as many classes as you wish that are just right for you. Whether you want to fuel your curiosity, creativity or even career, Skillshare is the perfect place to keep you learning and thriving. One class I found super valuable is the simple character animation Create a Walk Cycle with Duik class. Although it doesn't use Blender, you can learn the process of creating awesome looking walk cycle animations with this class. Skillshare is also super affordable with an annual subscription going at less than 10 bucks a month. Since Skillshare is sponsoring this video, you can sign up with the link in the description and get a 2 month free trial. So go ahead, check out Skillshare and sign up for the free offer using the link in the description. Back to the video. So I'm going to go ahead and delete all these keyframes over here uh, and yeah maybe for the lines we'll just go ahead and delete it like so and we'll keep the rough sketch we want to start with a blank slate so in a run cycle it's generally a, a bit easier compared to a walk cycle there's only two main key poses uh, it's the straight leg pose and the push pose and then between them you have the down and the up pose and that's about it so let's start off with the um, the straight leg pose. I'm going to start to draft out um, what this pose will look like. So here we have the straight leg pose. Yeah, may as well. Uh, Go ahead and add that to frame 40 and on also on frame 20 which will be the inverse of that pose okay um so on frame 40 we can tab into edit mode select everything and move it maybe over here a bit further this time frame 20 select everything move it over here Turn on the onion skinning. Actually, let's move it further down like this. On this one, let's move this further down like so. Yeah. Okay. Um, so this is this pose is the same as this pose, and this pose will be just the inverse with the legs and the hands of this pose. Okay. So that is the straight leg pose. Between that we have the push pose. So push pose is where the character is pushing his legs off the ground. So the push pose over there and then we just Duplicate this onto this side as well. So in this case, you move it a little bit over here. Okay, cool. So this pose here is called the push pose. It's pushing off the ground. So now I'm going to add in the poses for the down pose where it's where the character's legs land on the ground for the first time. So this part is generally quite easy. We just have the feet coming in like so. And coming up. And then like that. And 
and then the body is here the head is here then that like that Next is the high pose. High pose is the part of the pose of the character where the character is jumping at its highest. A little bit higher. And if I go back to the draw mode, get the eraser. It's not called straight leg. Rather, it's called high pose I'll just click that tab into edit mode real quick let's move it uh, on the X a bit uh, move it a little bit like that and this side to remove this and sort of uh, straighten them out a bit okay and then let's do the same thing over here shift D move it over the way here uh, tap into edit mode select everything move it in place like so and we have something that looks like that. Okay, so let's play back the animation now. Perfect, it now looks like a proper run cycle. So just to reevaluate, just turn off the onion skin. We have the straight leg pose, so it's up in the air. The legs are mostly straight with the arms at its um, uh, full bend. And then we have the second most important pose, which is the push pose, where the legs are pushing off the ground. Um, then we have the down pose, where the character is at its lowest, so the legs are a little bit bent when want to make contact. It's also the first time that the leg makes contact with the ground, uh, and the character is at its lowest. And the pose between the push pose and the contact pose is the high pose, where the character is at its highest. And um, the legs are pretty much uh, almost getting ready to stretch out to a straight leg. Also, the arms are quite bent as well. Cool. So now let's draw in the final lines for our character. So I'll call this the lines. Okay, so let's just go into time-lapse mode. So if I go ahead and play back the final animation now. If 
I've created a simple running animation. I can go ahead and extend that to make the animation a little bit longer and a little bit more fun to watch, if this is considered fun. I might just select all these keyframes over here. Sorry, we'll get rid of the... we won't select the rough sketch, we'll select these ones. Shift D and let's move it across over here. Then it's just a simple matter of fact of tabbing into edit mode, selecting everything, turning on onion skin, and going in and just moving everything uh, according to the uh, where the feet is being placed. So I'll select this, move this aside over here. There's no contact to the ground, so I don't have to worry too much about that. At this point, I guess I don't really care too much because it's now off camera. Over here, select everything, position so that the feet intersect because it's landed on the ground. And now move it over out of the, out of view. So we can just uh, end the frame over here. Maybe frame 66 seems good. So let's review the final animation. It's looking good, but I guess to make it look a little bit more cartoony. I'm going to employ a little bit of squash and stretch to this animation. So where the down poses are, it's going to select everything. Um, I'm going to use this, uh, use the 3D cursor. So Shift S, selection to cursor. Oops, Shift S, cursor to selected. Uh, and then, yep, that's set to 3D cursor. Go S Z. Where the high pose is, S and Z. And where the low down poses, S and Z. Where the high poses, S and Z. And just keep doing that. Okay, so let's see if that looks a little bit more cartoony. Yeah, it looks a bit more cartoony. So that's it. Let's just do a quick little render to see how that looks. I'm going to name this one Run Cycle. Again, if you don't know how to set this stuff up, go ahead and check out the previous video. So I'm just going to go ahead and go Render Animation. So that's it. That is a simple Run Cycle 2D animation created using Blender 2.8 and the Grease Pencil. Uh, now, of course, the line work here isn't the best. Uh, of course, I, can, I could have spent a lot more time perfecting those lines, making it look nicer. So this type of animation actually wouldn't really cut it if you wanted to make a cartoon. But actually, you could get away with it if you want to make one of those simple YouTube whiteboard style videos. You know, those cute little quick animations. So, um, yeah, that's it. I hope this video has been useful. If you like these types of videos and want to see more of it, please go ahead and subscribe to this channel as I will be putting out a lot more grease pencil animation type of tutorials. So, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.